So Samsung CEO DJ Ko is literally bending over backwards to get his new tech on the market this year. Previous reports suggest that we won't be seeing this new technology until 2019, but he's recently hinted that this may be unveiled at Samsung's developer conference in November this year. They've admitted that the new bendable phones are actually very complicated to build, and rumors are suggesting that we could actually be seeing this in the note line, and it would make sense as they are bigger phones. One thing that hasn't been made clear is if consumers will be able to get their hands on them this year, but another thing is, will they even want to? Co doesn't drop many hints on what to expect from this foldable phone from Samsung, but he does admit that this device needs to make consumers react with wow, and that's the reason that Samsung have made it. Realistically though, with the large estimated price tag, it is going to have to be practical. If it ends up just being a novelty, I can't imagine it being successful, but what will they think of next? Will it be a bending bike, a bending car, Mercedes Benz? But one thing is clear, and that's that Samsung want to be the first people to bring the bending phone to the market. I don't think they've realized, however, that Apple already beat them to it back in 2014 when they released the iPhone 6 Plus. But on a serious note, Samsung's Infinity displays use flexible OLED panels that bend around the edges of the phone, and so far these have been very successful. Co said, when he can overcome problems for sure, we will launch the product. We are digging thoroughly into several issues we must overcome, as we don't want to make just a few, sell a few and be done. He said they want Samsung to hear that Samsung made a very good product and went on to say that they have a plan to adopt a foldable display into their roadmap. So this does look like they're trying to mass produce these devices and bring it to the average consumer. So exciting news for everyone and hopefully we'll see more releases in 2019. There was actually a Samsung ad ed in 2014 which showed a bendable phone but this one was more like a notebook that folds in half into a phone. If this model is to be anything like that then I can imagine it will be very successful. A phone you carry around and it doubles out so you've got double the screen size to enjoy your content. Especially with media users this is going to be popular. Wow! There are, however, other rumors about the Samsung Galaxy X, and this seems to be a completely different idea where the fold will actually be horizontal, so the screen will fold upwards, and that's just gonna leave us with a very tall phone. Personally, I would prefer the fold to be vertical, but we'll have to wait and see what they unveil in November. Realistically though, I'm not sold yet on these bendable displays. Until I see one and what features it offers, I can't really see that changing either. One thing that concerns me though, is if you're bending a display again and again, I imagine over time we're going to get at least a small crease in the display. Will that be covered by warranty? Probably not. And Samsung aren't the only ones working on a bendable display. There's reports that Huawei are also joining the race. If they were to be at the same level as Samsung though, I would have thought they would have announced something by now. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys an update that we may actually be seeing a bendable phone this year. But as always, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think this is a good idea? Are you looking forward to them unveiling the bendable phone? But thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.